uh, getting thrown in there into a postseason game, just kind of maybe take us through your day yesterday and when you realized you're going to have to go. Um, yeah, I mean, it's fun. It's always a good experience, um, and especially when the outcome's like that. Um, but yeah, I, I came in. I was prepared to play. I didn't know I was actually playing until after warm-ups, but didn't change my mentality going into the day. How much different was this than the first game when you played for the Islanders when you were deep in that series too, wasn't it? Um, yeah, I mean, I think that was game five or, or so, or game four of, of the first round. Um, I mean, I, I think I learned a lot from that. That wasn't the game uh, that I wanted to happen that way. I mean, didn't didn't perform that well, and I think I was a bit nervous, and I think I used that experience for uh, last night. Can you say just about the amount of learning that is going on all around you, the players that are experiencing this for the first time? Do you guys sense it in there, just how much you're taking in and experiencing together? Yeah, I think so. I mean, it's now only a couple of days I've been around the uh, – the big group here, um, but I mean, guys are having fun. They're learning from it, and there's a lot of veteran guys that have had good playoff runs and, and cups in this team. So, um, I think that's starting to spread throughout the team. What did you learn in the minors? Um, you know, I, I'm not sure if it's a whole lot of what I learned, um, but I think that you know, I, I started playing better. Um, you know, I focused on on myself. I I um, started skating better. I played more assertive. Um, you know, I had more confidence, and I think that's what I needed to, to learn was something from within myself, and I think it took a big step forward. So when you were down there and other guys were being called up, what were you You know what, I had a good talk at the start of the year um, that it's going to be a development year for me, and, you know, things weren't working. So, I, you know, I, I had to clear my mind and, and know that, you know, I would get my chance, and um, I just had to prove that I could play consistent. So whether I was playing really well and, you know, deserved it. I knew that um, I just had to keep sticking with my game and it would pay off. Still to be determined whether you have a chance to play Game 7, but is Game 7 something that every sort of athlete looks forward to with a sense of excitement and maybe a little bit of nervousness as well? Um, yeah, of course. I mean, I'm hoping that, you know, Oscar um, gets healthy and, you know, he looks like he's moving around better today. Um, but at the same time, if he's not, you know, I'm here, I'm ready to, ready to play and, and prove that I can do it. How many game sevens did you play on the road, road hockey? Um, you know, I'd have lived in, uh, in Vancouver, was on a mountain, so couldn't get too much road hockey in. <laughs> <laughs> played a few with the Oak Kings. So yeah, yeah, Portland, for sure. I uh, yeah, played a couple of those and um, a couple other series too. And, you know, do or dies in the Memorial Cup. And, you know, it's, it's fun. It's so easy to get up for those types of games.